Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about how we can create Microsoft Teams invite using Power Automate. This time I have a requirement that whenever a user will create an entry in SharePoint list, I wanted to create Teams invite for that entry. So how can I achieve that? We are going to use Graph API in order to achieve this requirement. So let's see the step by step process for achieving this. Also, one more interesting thing. If you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. My Twitter and Instagram IDs are available here or maybe in the description box. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about how we can create Teams invite using Power Automate. Here I am on my machine and first of all let me talk about the business requirement. Basically in the SharePoint I have one list called meetings. In meetings I am storing the meeting title, start date, end date, attendees and descriptions over here. Now whenever a new item is created into this list I want to trigger one power automate flow which should create one Microsoft Teams invite based on the start date and end date which is provided over here and it should send the invite to the attendees that we have added into this attendees column. So how we can achieve that with the help of Microsoft Power Automate. Now in order to achieve that we need to use Graph API call and we need to use couple of actions. Now the question arises in our mind that in this way, we are able to easily create the meeting invite. But what if I am updating the record? What should happen? So for that, basically, we need to manage one more list which will map this meeting and whatever the ID that is generated by Teams invite. So for that purpose, I have created another list called event mapping where I am storing the title and calendar event ID, meaning whatever the event that is being created here i am storing its id along with whatever the teams invite is created its calendar invite id i am storing over here now update event part is something which i am not going to cover in this session but we will definitely check that part into my upcoming next session so let's focus on only to create new teams invite over here also one more important thing I have provided the solution or export of this flow into my GitHub repository. So even after this session, if you wanted to check the different expression that I have used into the flow, you can directly check it out from there. So check the description box for the GitHub repository link. Now let's get started and create our Power Automate flow to create Teams meeting invite. And after the invite is created, we need to store that calendar invite ID into my another list which is event mapping. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you the end flow which I have created over here. And then we will create step by step flow. So basically I have used a trigger when an item is created. After that I am initializing couple of variable for body and number of attendees. And after that we will fetch all the attendees in form of this type of array. And after that, we are making body for the meeting invite. And at last, we are making HTTP trigger to call our Graph API and that will generate the Teams invite for us. And at last, after it is created successfully, basically we are creating a new item to the event mapping list where I am storing the ID for the item as well as calendar event ID. So this is the overall flow. Now let's create this flow step by step from scratch. So, so here I have opened my Power Automate and from here just click on Instant Cloud Flow. Now let's skip this step and now over here we need to choose a trigger. Choose a SharePoint as a trigger and let's add a trigger as when an item is created. Now let's provide the site address and list name. So the site address is event 
and my list name is meeting now we need to add next step so over here we are going to initializing couple of variable so for that let's search for initialize variable over here so once we do that we have this action now let's provide our variable name so let's define our variable meeting body and its type should be string after that let's initialize one more variable so let's write action initialize variable again and now let's provide one more variable attendees and let's have its type as array right and after that we need to add an action that append to array so append to array so let's search append to array variable now over here we need to select attendees and now over here we need to provide the value for that we need to use this type of json structure and don't worry i provided this code in my github repository so you can simply copy and paste so the simply code is looking like this type email addresses where we need to provide name and addresses now you simply need to place the cursor in between the name and after that you need to select add a dynamic value and from here you need to search for display name for attendees so you just need to search for attendee display name so let's provide that which will automatically add apply to each loop over here same way in the address section you need to add attendee email address so let's add that so i'm just clicking on dynamic value and let's provide here as email and over here let's provide attendee email and we are good so this action has been created after that we need to set variable which is meeting body so let's do that click on new step and over here we need to provide an action set variable and from here we need to provide meeting body and now we need to provide the entire json structure now let's see how that json structure will look like so i am pasting my value over here now i am showing you how to add this parameter step by step so very first thing is subject so which subject do you want so over here i need title so when an item is created this title is something which basically i need as a event title so i am just providing that so let's select title from here after that over here we need to provide the description or content so for that you simply need to click here and from the value section dynamic value section you need to search for a description so let's search here description and just provide that then we need to provide the start date and end date and which time zone you want to consider to create an invite so basically whenever we get the value from the sharepoint it will basically provide you the utc timing and now i recommend you to create the invite itself into utc format so what happen here is whatever your browser setting would be according to that that particular time zone will be reflected for you so i always use utc over here but let's say if you have a specific requirement that you always wanted to create into pst invite or something like that you can just use uh, the date expression and provide your appropriate time zone now over here let me just add here as date time so let's provide here as start date right and same way i need to provide here as end date so let me just add end date and we are done then the location would be online and attendees are something which we have created into this particular variable so let's add those attendee variable over here so let's just go here and search for attendees and we are done so we added our attendees variable over here now the very next step is the main step where we are going to use our graph api to create the teams invite for that just add a next step and over here you need to search for http request invoke http request so let's search for invoke http request 
for that from the connector you need to select http with azure ad and after that you need to select invoke http request so this is the premium action and over here you need to select post method and you need to provide the graph url so graph url to create the events is something like this you need to use graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash me slash events and after that you need to provide the header so let's provide our header as application json so header key is content type and its value should be application json so let me just provide that over here and we are done and after that we need to provide the body of the request so body should be covered this entire thing that we have set up here like subject start date end date attend is everything so let's provide our body variable over here so let's select dynamic value and select meeting body and that is something which is added over here so this is how we can simply create the invite now what happen here is once our invite is created basically we need to store its id calendar invite id into my another list so for that what we can do here is we can add one more next step called create item so this is something which will create a new item into another sharepoint list called event mapping so let's provide here as site address so site address is events and what would be the list name list name is event mapping and after that we just need to provide the title so what should be the title value so that is the id for this particular event which is created so let's provide id here and over here we need to provide the calendar event id so calendar event id is nothing but the response from this particular event and for that what you need to do here is you need to simply provide id value over here so you simply need to write an expression so just click on expression and over here what would be the body here from there we need the id value so after that you need to simply type id and you are good to go so this is the expression that you need to provide right now let's save our flow by providing the appropriate name so create teams link let's provide that and let's click on save now let's taste this flow to taste the thing i'm going to the list and let's create one new meeting invite over here so let me just create the invite so the invite should be like power bi uk user group and i'm just providing here start date and end date so start date should be 17th of february and i'm just providing some time from here and i'm just providing the end date 17th of february and let's say here i'm providing 5 6 am and after that i need to provide the attendees so here i'm just providing myself along with that i'm providing one more attendee that is power platform dev from the same tenant and let's provide description so i'm just providing this is monthly event now let's see how it goes so i'm just clicking on save and let's see if the flow is working as expected manner or not the flow ran here but my flow goes failed now let's see what is the error over here so i'm just going here and i'm just checking the error detail from here and you can see it is showing me this error base uri must be the base of full url now what do we mean by that let's fix that error because we missed one part over here into our flow now you need to edit the flow and just check the invert http request action so over here we have provided our graph flow but whenever you are doing this action for the first time you need to set up the connection so to fix that let's click on add a connection and over here you need to provide the base resource url 
which is craft.microsoft.com and same way in the azure active directory uri you need to provide same graph.microsoft.com and you simply need to click on sign in over here so that will open one more authentication pop up for you so let's just sign in with your account and that is how that connection with azure active directory is established now this will work so now let's test this again so i'm just choosing automatic trigger and test with the same item that we just created and here we are you can see that my flow ran successfully now let's check the event mapping list and over here you can see the calendar event id is also created and now let's check my team's calendar as well that if the invite is created or not so i'm just going to my team's calendar and for 17th of february we have created one event so let's see so basically in sharepoint my tenant is in pst format so basically whatever the time that i'm able to see here into my sharepoint list it is based on the pst time and my team is something which is taking the local from ist time and this team invite is created based on the utc time so whatever the pst is here it is converted to utc and that utc is automatically shown me here into me my account into ist format so let's see and here we are we can see that this invite has been created successfully now if i double click on it i can see the rest of the information like who are the attendees as well as what would be the time and what is the description as well as this organization as well as all the attendees that you have added that is visible to me over here so this is really really cool and amazing isn't it now in the next session we will be talking about how we can create a flow which will update the already created invite so let's check out that thing into my next episode till then have a great day goodbye if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are interested for consultation this is the website also if you are looking to follow me on my twitter linkedin or instagram all the links are available here on the top of the banner i created a separate channel for hindi content and short content so i request everyone to subscribe this channel and show your love over here as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye